uh, we're heading into Lowe's right now. We're gonna get another HDMI cable to replace the next one. I think the cable would actually be fine, but to be on the safe side, just replace it. I will send a receipt to the installation company and see if they replace it or they send me money or whatever, but I'm not gonna hold my breath on it. It's only like 25 bucks, so it's not the end of the world, but. It's just annoying. <laughs> yeah, it's a little annoying, but it is what it is. So this is what Hannah wants to use. For this is our what? backsplash so for the kitchen. Use, yeah. So it's gonna just look. Well, it's flooring, obviously, but it's just gonna be like a gray scale. And then we're gonna have um, like stainless steel shelves. Shelves, and then yeah. the cabinets are gonna be all white with like um, stainless steel knobs and stuff. So it'll look really like modern. And then we'll show you the floor. Hannah loves coming and looking at this stuff. I just like to and look at it. And this is the uh, the floor that we want to use, which is kind of like the same gray, grayish, cool tone. So we're going with like the cool modern tones, not like a reddish tone or whatever. Yeah. So cool. And then the walls will be white, and it'll just look really clean. And I'm so excited. Got the new HDMI cable here. So we got the Ultra one, just cause uh, why the hell not? So that's the fridge that we want to get. Very nice, very nice. So the main thing with the fridge is that it can't be more than 30 inches wide. So I think this one's 28 inches wide because we only have 30 inches available in space there for it, so. And then we're thinking this fan right here like, how cool would that be? It looks like a propeller. Such a cool looking fan. Back at it again in the tiny house. I'm gonna work on fixing a few things today. So we're gonna get this box pushed back into the wall just cause uh, the spray foam got behind uh, this right here. And what I should have done is I should have put a screw through this piece of wood here into the sheathing on the inside so that wouldn't have gotten pushed out. I did it on these uh, boxes right here uh, just cause the boxes themselves were um, just, I guess they're kind of like, just because they're these uh, PVC plastic boxes. Um, but I really should have screwed that into there. And then also work on getting uh, these pipes um, back into the wall. Again, I should have secured these um, much better into the, into the cavity in the wall. And then they wouldn't have uh, been pushed out so much while the spray foam was going in. And then the last main thing that I'm going to be doing today is uh, I'm gonna replace this HDMI cable here. So it just goes through one, two, three studs, goes down this stud over into this box. So I do have this stuff here that I'm gonna use to fill in, I guess the slit that's gonna go along um, where the spray foam is just to kind of seal it back up. I got this stuff because I was originally gonna do the insulation around the window, but the insulator did all around the windows, all around the door. Um, so I don't have to do that, which is really nice. Uh, once I get all that stuff kind of tidied up, then we're good to go for drywall. Uh, so let's begin with getting all that stuff done. I left the main tripod in the car, so it's gone. Um, so I might have to find some creative ways to time lapse some of the work that I'm doing using the uh, Gorilla Pod. <laughs> HDMI cable replaced and then just use the spray foam just to kind of fill up the gap back into the box there and then the same thing on this here 
and then we got the uh, got the pecs pushed back into the wall. Use some of the spray foam to kind of um, finish off the insulation there. And then the same thing right here as well. I put one screw through this two x four here into the sheathing, so it's gonna it's gonna stay there and it's not gonna move. And then just got this uh, covered with some of the spray foam. And then this wire right here that just got nicked. It was just the uh, the outer jacketing that got nicked. The inside of the cable is fine, so just a little bit of um, electrical tape on it just to close up the jacketing there. Uh, but everything else is looking good. Uh, so that only took me about half an hour to fix everything up there. They're just minor kind of mistakes. Um, nothing catastrophic. If a wire got nicked to the point where it couldn't be used, like one of the electrical wires, then I would be like really pissed off but replacing the HDMI cable not that big of a deal a lot of people said that the insulation was done uh, very poorly I don't really think it was done that poorly a few areas there was a little bit of carelessness I should have also protected the pecs and the wires a little bit better um, so it's not just the insulators fault there's also some fault to mine as well so when you're getting spray foam insulation especially with two by four walls make sure that your wires and your pipes are pushed all the way almost against the sheathing. If you are getting it really nice and close to the sheathing as well, make sure the siding is already done because you have to understand that if you're doing siding as well, you're gonna be going through the sheathing and um, you don't wanna be screwing through the siding or nailing through the siding into your wires, into your pipes on the interior side of the house. You don't wanna be doing that either. So for today, I'm gonna clean up and then I'm gonna make a material list for everything that I'm gonna need um, to start with the, uh, the mortar shower pan that we're gonna have um, in the shower here. The shower pan dimensions are kind of, um, they're kind of weird, right? It's not a normal shower pan dimension. I think it's like 26 or 27 by like 32 or something. So it's kind of a weird dimension. I think you can get shower pans that are 32 by 32. I think the standard size is 36 by 36. So we're gonna do something a little bit more interesting and a little bit more custom with a, uh, a custom mortar shower pan. What I have to do though is get the first layer of mortar down and then actually get the shower pan liner so it's like a, a rubber material and I need to get that stuff in first before the inside of the shower is drywalled. So in the bathroom here, they're gonna use like a different type of drywall, not your normal drywall that you just use on the regular walls, but something that is more moisture and water resistant. So we're gonna get the shower pan going on. I think I'm gonna do that tomorrow. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of cleanup, head on home, and maybe I'll show you my, uh, my dinner for tonight. All right, so I just had a quick little stop off at home, had some lunch, made a materialist. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is head down to Lowe's, pick a bunch of stuff up, go to Home Depot. I'm gonna get three sheets of plywood and I'm also gonna do like one of their truck rentals just uh, just so that I can take that plywood um, to, the, uh, to the job site because it will kind of fit in here but I would have to have like the hatch open and I just don't wanna like mess around with that kind of stuff. So I'm just gonna get everything that I need to the house. Maybe I'll put the plywood up today, but at least I can get the, the mortar shower pan started uh, tomorrow morning and I'll have everything there and I can just start, just start working at it because I really don't like to have to go and shop for all the materials in the morning because that kind of wastes time. I'd rather just be able to go there and start. Um, if I need to get anything else, that I, then I can make a quick run down to like Home Depot or Lowe's. So I just want to get everything over there and then I can start nice and early tomorrow. All right, so I got a bunch of uh, stuff from Lowe's there. So now I just have to rent a truck from Home Depot so I can get the plywood to the, uh, to the job site and let's do it. Got the plywood, got some drain pipe, two by four. All right, let's see how this bad boy works. Oh. Whoopsie. All right, good to go. The truck return, just gonna head on home. I'll show you my dinner, and that's gonna be the end of the vlog. All right, so for dinner, we got some rice and some SOS free pea soup. Normally, I have a lot more rice for dinner, but we kind of ran out of rice in the rice cooker, so this is all I got. I will catch you guys on tomorrow's video. Talk to you soon. Peace.